All right, guys, Unite the Clans here, coming back at you uh, with a new episode of Drinking by Myself. Uh, if you haven't seen any of the previous ones, this is my vlog. Uh, I'm going to talk a lot about my experience trying to start a YouTube channel and then, fingers crossed, someday uh, at least make that my part-time job, uh, or a paying part-time job. It definitely is a part-time job now. I think the last two days I put in like a combined 24 hours on the channel. Easy. Yeah, definitely. Definitely. Probably more than that. Uh, maybe even 30. I should say, guys, I am enjoying a Bailey's coffee. Uh, I do work tonight, so normally drinking by myself happens at the end of a night, but I didn't get to it last night, so drinking by myself is happening in the morning, which means just drinking something that's acceptable for the morning. So coffee's a little splash of Bailey's, medium size to large splash of Bailey's. That's going to work for me today. Um, I'm also trying to record these sort of in this in sequence, if that makes any sense. Uh, I, ideally, I'd love to record this vlog uh, after uh, the finishing the episodes that will come out before it of whatever series I'm working on. Uh, and I almost got there. I have to finish up. Uh, at this moment, I have to finish up my picked uh, episode zero, which will come out uh several days before this one. Guys, today I wanted to talk about TV and how it's dying. Uh, I just, this yesterday, discovered Pete Holmes' uh, YouTube channel. Uh, and if you don't know Pete Holmes, he briefly had a late night show following Conan O'Brien on TBS. I think in, the, I guess he'd be the 11 o'clock slot something like that, uh, ran for a few months. I never really got around to watching it back then. I know Pete Holmes uh, sort of by association uh, from listening to podcasts and things like that that he's made his way onto. Um, really ridiculously funny guy, and I wish I'd discovered the show while it was on the air. Um, but the bottom line is I don't really go to TV for entertainment anymore. I get it from Netflix, I get it from YouTube, obviously spend a ton of time watching videos on there, um, and then um, really, I mean, the only shows these days that people are nuts about uh, are like, you know, uh, Game of Thrones or something, which you don't need cable to get anymore, you just need uh, HBO Go, which you can buy just like Netflix and get access to that and all their other ridiculously good shows. Um, but what I wanted to talk about is how the Pete Holmes show was one of those rare times on TV where you can find content. If you're around my age, I'm, I'm 31. It was one of those rare times where you can find content that is geared towards uh, you. Um, I was laughing my ass off watching clips that he did on Street Fighter uh, where he played like a middle management guy trying to you know, fire each of the famous characters of Street Fighter, and he had hilarious actors coming in to work with him. Uh, he also did a bit on the X-Men where he played Professor X firing or, or hitting on each of the X-Men. Uh, it was so funny, and it, it's centered around content that, that really appeals to me. When I was in grade two, uh, when the weather got nice at the end of the year, all we did for like, from, from, March, uh, till the end of the school year, at the end of June, all we did was play X-Men, uh, and I was always Gambit, uh, I will, by the way, maybe throw up the Gambit, uh, Pete Holmes thing in the description, uh, just to, to link you guys into it, uh, and so that was rare, that was special, I mean, I've I'll always liked Conan O'Brien, but my favorite time in Conan O'Brien's life was when he was, uh, you know, putting stuff on YouTube, uh, like it personal stuff and when he was in between the tonight show and his tbs show when he was doing that uh conan o'brien can't stop tour where he was just goofing off and singing songs and really connecting with his audience that's what i liked i don't like when he tries to be jay leno or johnny carson uh, i know that's what he has made his career doing is being a late night host but the guy was so funny just being his freaking self so him bringing pete holmes on you know it didn't surprise me too much and that show, you know, like I said, I wish I'd watched it when it came out. So much 
funnier than I thought it was going to be. Um, but TV is, is missing the boat here. And you know what? So are some of the people that think that TV is the be all and end all. Um, the Today Show months and months ago was looking for a new host. Uh, Jenna Marbles, who was one of the early YouTube success stories, wanted to do the show and she got laughed out, like laughed out the door. Uh, but now that's what those shows need. The View is thinking of changing up their cast. And swear to God, this is who they're thinking of bringing in to connect with youth audiences, whatever they call uh, you, millennials. Monica Lewinsky. First of all, no one my age or younger cares what Monica Lewinsky has to say. And I would wager that a lot of young people have no freaking clue who she is it was like 1997 or 1998 which is now uh, almost 20 years ago that she fooled around with the president and even then she didn't do much talking like i, I don't know i don't know her voice uh so when i go to find people my age people i can connect with for entertainment i go to youtube now i connected with pete holmes and i would have connected with him on his show um, but the sad thing is, uh, along with the show, he had a great YouTube channel. Uh, it's 350 odd thousand subscribers. Some of his videos on his channel have 5 million views. Some, uh, have like thousands, 50,000 likes and others still like have 5,000 comments, like just epic audience interaction. Um, the kind of thing that I'm going for on my channel, I've said, uh, in the past, I don't care about the number of subscribers. What I care about is having an audience that's engaged, cares about the channel, gives me their input. That's what I want. And that's what he had. His show got canceled nine months ago, and there has been one video on the channel. You have forsaken, you have abandoned a massive audience that was falling in love with you and following you online because your non-online thing fell apart. Obviously, the budget will be different without a TV show. You won't be able to do the same high quality entertainment, but why not keep putting out YouTube videos? People were watching. People were subscribing, commenting, liking, tuning the F in, and you abandoned that. There's one video two weeks ago, and it is nowhere near the quality. It's just Pete on stage. Uh, as in, you know, keep doing those things, but do them in your basement. Uh, do the take-home version like Adam Carolla did when he got fired from his regular job. Just went to podcasting, an all-internet medium, and has rebuilt uh, a, an empire out of it. I had a little rant, guys, that I needed to get out. I know it's different from the format uh, that this uh, vlog takes usually, um, but I just wanted to get that off my chest and, and see if you guys agree. If, uh, if you've watched the Pete Holmes show, if you find him funny, or if you just want to connect to some of that X-Men Street Fighter uh, sketches that I was talking about, uh, hit me up in the comments and, uh, and we'll talk about it. And, um, if you guys want to talk about who would you love to see on TV, who would bring you back to TV? If Jenna Marbles went on TV, if, you know, some other massive YouTuber, uh, got a spot on, you know, to whatever, good morning America, some nonsense like that. Um, who would make you tune in? I don't care at all about those shows, and I can't imagine, even if they had one or two of my favorite YouTubers go on there, I'm not sure i go on, because I can get my YouTubers online without having to buy cable. <clears throat> I haven't been a cable subscriber for uh, for like five years. It sucks uh, that I can't watch sports, but honestly, that's the only thing I'm missing. And as soon as the NFL and whoever else gets themselves a version of HBO Go, I will never think about cable ever again. Um, it it sucks that one, the, the people who are a little older than me, who are in their mid-30s and 40s, don't realize that the internet is the be-all, end-all. They think it's TV still. But the bottom line is TV audiences are disappearing because people don't, they don't care. There's no one on TV that they connect with. The people they connect with are all online and that's where they go for their entertainment that's where i go for my entertainment and obviously that's where you guys are going for your entertainment hopefully i provided a little bit and do it over some bailey's coffee guys thank you for watching i am unite the clans and this is drinking by myself i will see all y'all in the next episode Drink